Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to describe the first solution that we have to the apportionment problem I described last time. Um, then after I go over the solution, um, you'll watch another video that kind of explains the context of a particular example that we'll do. And in the next video, I'll have all the examples worked out and I'll kind of go through and discuss each one of those and some of the different nuances that we see when we use this method called the Hamilton method. So what I'm going to do right now is highlight the process of doing Hamilton's method um, just in general. And then once we have this process, we'll go through some examples and see how this process um, can be applied to uh, particular situations. So um, for the Hamilton method, remember, we're trying to take the population of the states and the number of representatives that we have and give out those representatives to the states based off of their populations. So we should see in this calculation the populations, the number of representatives, and things that correspond to each state. So first thing we're going to do is step one. We will find what we call the divisor. Okay. Now the divisor is um, the terminology that's used in our textbook. There's other textbooks that sometimes call it the standard divisor and later on we have other things in different divisors. Basically it's a number that we will be dividing into other things but we need to find this number first. So we're going to find our divisor which will be the total population of all states divided by the total number of representatives available. Uh, this will give us a single number here. I would recommend going out to about three decimal places here. So uh, for me, that's kind of my uh, general preference is to go to three decimal places. Don't worry about rounding or anything like that because uh, as we do these calculations it'll be a little more um, relevant to just have the decimals there. Um, so then we'll go to step two and in our textbook the, the step two is to find what we call the quota first. Okay so we're going to find quotas and we're going to do this for each state. So for say state A, the first state, um, just a generic name, state A, we will um, take the population of state A and then we'll divide it by the, uh, the divisor that we just found, okay? And again, this is going to give us a number with some decimals. Now, my recommendation, go to three decimals or three decimal places. We'll need those, okay? Now, what we're finding here as we do this for each state, so repeat for each state, these numbers with their decimals are going to be our quotas. So in a way you can think of it as like that's the number of representatives that would be sort of fairly given to that state. Um, so these numbers with their decimals right here, these things will become the quotas. In this case would be the quota for say state A. And you can see you'll get the same thing for, uh, or not the same number, but you'll get the same process going for each state. So then, this is where step two and step three sort of blend together, because really all we're doing in step three is looking at only the whole number parts. We're actually not going to round or anything like that. We're just going to say, for step three, just take the whole number parts of your quotas. And what we're doing here is we're going to find the lower 
quotas for each state. So that means that for state A, the lower quota is the whole number part. of the quota that we just found. From step two. Now, the final step that we're going to take here is we're it's a little more um, slightly more involved. But basically, we're going to add up all these lower quotas. And we're going to see if we gave out all of the representatives. So for step four, add up all the lower quotas and see if we gave out all the representatives. And so in this step, it's now a checking for if we used up all of our resources. If we did not use up all of our resources, there must be an extra resource available. So if there are any, any extra representatives left, then we give the extras out based on the highest decimal values from the quotas. And by that I mean the quotas that we found up here in step two. Remember those decimals that we said, ah, forget about those for now. We're going to come back to needing those possibly if there are any extras. So I'll say here from the quotas, um, based on step two. Okay. Um, so we'll go through some examples uh, in a minute here, and I just wanted to point out that technically there's this rule that we have that we're going to follow, which is the quota rule, and the, um, the final number of representatives that each state gets should be within one of that state's initial quota. So we're not going to... Um, what that means is we're not going to just... If we have two extras, we're not going to just give all two to the state that has the highest decimal, what we're going to do is give one to the state with the highest decimal, then go down to the next state with the next highest decimal and give them one. So we're always only going to be giving out at most one to everybody. Um, the next thing you're going to do in the module right below is check out the video Three Men in a Comic Book. And what I want you to do in that video is think about how the boys are sharing the comic book and what they're doing to determine who gets the comic book and what they may not have done to determine who gets time with the comic book. Particularly pay attention to how much money you think the boys paid uh, into the purchase of that comic book. So uh, I'll see you in the next example, uh, sorry, see you in the next video where I have more examples of the Hamilton method.